Alright, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage. So today I'm just going to be doing a quick unboxing video. Well, I don't know how quick it's going to be, but I mean, I'll just kind of show you what it is. Alright, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a little unboxing video. Um, what I got is I'm going to be doing some audio upgrades. So currently I'm using this for all my audio on my, on my camera because basically it's way better than the uh, built-in microphone. So this is just a Rode VideoMic Go. So what I want to do, I have a video that's coming out soon and I'm having issues because the iMac does not have a, um, basically a microphone input. So I have to go a different route. So like this, you know, $100 microphone basically is useless. Well, I came up with another solution. Also the other microphones that I use currently as well are just like the little lavalier microphones, which are, you know, they're pretty basic. Uh, just a little lavalier. Um, I bought like three of these on Amazon for like 10 bucks or something like that. And these are what I use. I like tape them on the back of the car to get like good audio quality and all that type of stuff. So I just use these currently. So what did I get? This is what I got right here. So I got the um, Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. So this is actually a stereo microphone. And what it says on here, and we'll see how this works out, but it also says USB mic, which is what you need on a Macintosh to, uh, to do basically voiceover on video. So my idea is that I'm gonna be using this plugged into this, and then this plugged into my iMac. So yeah, I know it sounds confusing. Um, maybe it's not the best way. I might end up just getting like a, uh, just a USB only uh, microphone for just the computer like the blue Yeti or something like that that one's supposed to be about pretty good but uh, this is like a hundred bucks and I think it'll be good the other idea that I had is that I can use this guys I could put this in my pocket with a lavalier and then I basically have some portable audio so that can up the audio quality so let's go ahead and open up this box see what we got in here all right so, first thing, let's see, okay, so, comes with the actual, obviously the device itself, got some cool blue tape on there, which is uh, kind of interesting, alright, open that up, pull that out of there, so yeah, that's what this looks like, it looks pretty dang nice, um, it's not too heavy, it's really lightweight, so the, uh, the H4, which is about $200, um, I almost bought that one. I may end up buying that one, but we'll see. Um, put that over here. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, this doesn't have like a screen cover on it or anything like that, like a little piece of plastic or anything. So um, that's kind of weird. I mean, a lot of companies, they kind of do that. So this, I don't know, it feels kind of cheap. Like that, that feels kind of cheap. That actually that, yeah, that's kind of lame. I don't really like that, that that pops out. Um, okay, it actually clicks in, so it can stay in there, but the, the micro SD cover, eh, it's all right. Um, so there are like the side buttons on the thing. So you have like your, uh, your USB, your hold button. There looks like a delete, trash can, forward, backwards, play, and input level, and then the line in. That's where I'm going to be plugging in uh, my microphone. So uh, it also looks like it came with a battery so that's cool and that's nice when it comes with everything you need and then yep that's it for that stuff um what else do we got in here we got the instructions and looks like it came with a two gigabyte micro sd card which is cool i mean that's quite a bit of audio basically like this gets you it gets you going so that's nice you don't really have to buy anything that's kind of cool that they do that but um yeah, it's got instructions and whatnot, uh, paperwork, blah, blah, blah. Cool, cool, cool. This looks like the thing I'll probably read because this is a quick start guide. So I'll kind of check that out. Um, yeah, so we'll play with this and uh, see how it works out. All right, so first thing I'm just gonna do is I'll just go ahead and throw in that micro SD card. It came with the computer adapter for this, the regular SD. So that's, that's pretty cool, you know, those are always come in handy when you need to uh, you need to throw it in your computer or whatever because really computers don't really have these little uh these little micro sds they don't they don't really have that um 
and just put your micro S yeah. put your micro SD card in there push it down cool close it up um, doesn't look like you need a screwdriver so that's kind of nice you know not having to use a screwdriver is always nice um, if you don't have one it also does have a, a quarter inch thread so I have an idea that something that I'm gonna do with this um, I'll show you guys in the, an upcoming video, but it's going to be with this and this. Um, and, you know, you probably will never use it because I know most of you guys are just Subaru guys. But, hey, for anybody, you know, that does YouTube stuff or interested in, like, some audio recording, getting higher quality stuff, I'm going to have a little how-to video on doing that. But what's kind of cool is, uh, yeah, it's got quarter-inch thread, so you can, like, put that, um, you can put that onto a stand. So that's... So, for example, I, this is just a um, um, stand, like a light stand, but it's a pretty cheap one, just a little Amazon one. But if you see right here, these have a quarter inch thread right on the top. So what's cool is you can actually use this, and now I'll be able to spin that on there. And then I can use this as a setup to, uh, you know, to put it closer to me when I'm doing things. Um, so that it'll have better audio quality. It should be kind of nice. So hopefully that'll work out kind of cool. And then like I said too, I can also just put this in my pocket. Um, you know, put it in my pocket and then I'll just be able to uh, kind of just have a wireless setup. So when I do do that too, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to sync my audio, make some sort of loud clapping noise. That way my, uh, my software will actually pick it up. Um, let's see. Okay. So we got that. Pull out our knife, what we got for today? Benchmade Griptilian. So, I love this little knife. This is, a, this is a good one. I really like the blade profile on this. It's really cool. Axis lock, awesome. All right, so just kind of cut that open. And we'll throw that, throw that back away. Boom. All right. Cool, go ahead and put the battery in it. Maxwell Alkaline, not the cheapest battery, so that's kind of cool. You know, it's not a Duracell or anything like that, but uh, now I haven't read the instructions or anything, so I'm assuming, I don't know, hit this button, maybe? Hit the middle button? I have no clue. Where is on? Hmm, what do I do? Oh, okay. That took quite a while. Okay, so now you can actually see the uh, the line levels on there too, so like when I'm talking right now, do you see them going up? You see them going up? Okay. Okay guys, so real quick, what I thought I'd do too is just kind of show you guys uh, an idea of how this thing sounds. So I'm gonna record a couple clips on here. Right now, like I said, I'm on the lavalier mic. I might be peeking out, like it looks like it's pretty loud. So sorry about that if the audio sucks. Uh, this is actually the first time I've hooked a lavalier mic to my, uh, my Canon camera that you're looking at right now. This is a Canon 70D. But anyways, um, yeah, so let's try this out. So first off, we'll try, this is gonna be stereo recording. So we'll just hit the button and record it and then I'll kind of just dub this in. All right, so this is the Zoom H1 built on stereo microphone. So let's see if it goes side to side, if you guys can hear it. Um, and let's see how the audio quality is on that. Okay, now this is kind of going to be my setup that I'm hoping is going to sound really good, but we'll see. So this is the Rode Video Mic uh, Go hooked up. I'm going to be kind of close. Um, not peaking out levels on this right now, so that's good. Um, but let's just try this. All right, guys. So right now I am talking into the Rode Video Mic Go. How do you think the audio quality sounds on this? Hopefully it sounds a lot better. Okay, and then just because I have it, we'll just try them. Like I said, again, these are like super cheap lavalier mics. Um, I'll just show what it sounds like on this because like I said, right now you're hearing it on the uh, on the actual camera itself and I think it's peeking out. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't really adjust it. I didn't really want to adjust it now since I don't know, the whole video is gonna sound like this, so why not just keep it sounding like that? Um, clip this on me real quick. Just gonna clip this on my neck what I usually do but I have a uh, wind diffuser which is this uh, this beard right here so you don't really need a dead you know a dead cat 
uh, apparatus or anything when it's on me. So let's see how this sounds. All right, guys, so we are using the Zoom H1. I can't even talk right now. We're using the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder and we are on a lavalier microphone. This is uh, recording in the Wave uh, 44 kilohertz um, playback at 16-bit audio quality. So um, there's just a couple little clips. Now, I guess what we could do too, real quick, is I'll just show what the onboard microphone sounds like. So I just unplugged the, uh, the lavalier mic from the Canon 70D that you guys are listening to right now. And right now you are just on the internal microphone. Now I'm literally like, I don't know, eight inches away from the camera right now because it's just like right over my head. It's like right here. So if you're a little farther back, you know, you can, I don't know, maybe you can tell the difference. Right now I'm about two feet away. So that's how it sounds. So anyways, guys, that is uh, just a couple ideas of how the audio quality sounds and I just realized I'm actually still recording on this handy recorder right here so yeah um, hopefully you guys like the video and I'm turn this off turn this off boop and we'll depower it looks like you just hold down the power button again goodbye kind of cool almost like AOL most of you guys probably don't know what that is but anyways he used to say that when he logged off. Goodbye. All right, guys. Cool, cool, cool. Um, hopefully you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more stuff like this. If you guys are interested in, uh, you know, more things like about YouTube, like creating videos and all that type of stuff. I don't know if you guys are into any of that, but if you are, hey, uh, you know, let me know. So anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, and we will talk to you soon. Yay! Later.